ready. Okay, let's get into this first. It's been 10 days since English rugby union coach Kevin Sinfield completed the Leeds Marathon, pushing his former teammate Rob Burrow the 26.2 mile distance in a specially adapted wheelchair. Now, it was all in a bid to raise funds for motor neuron disease charities. And if you've seen it, well, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it, you've got to watch it. There wasn't a dry eye in the house when Kevin lifted Rob up and carried him over the finish line to rapturous ovation by the crowds. And the ripples felt right across the world. It was it really wonderful. It was amazing. Really now, we're going to be chatting to Kevin and Rob alongside Rob's wife, Lindsay, about the very emotional moment. But first, let's take a look and remind ourselves of exactly how it played out. <laughs> So moving. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, Kevin, Rob and Lindsay join us now. Good morning all. Good Hello morning, there all in morning. the gorgeous garden there in Kevin's in the studio. Morning. Um, morning. So nice to see you, not on a rugby pitch. We only ever get to talk on a, a touchline somewhere. Um, good to see you. You too. Um, that was an incredible moment, um, but a very natural moment. Remind everyone the context of it all, what happened. Yeah, a, a really special moment for both of us. 12,500 people ran in Rob's name. Uh, in the inaugural Rob Burrow Leeds Marathon in Leeds. And uh, an incredible day where we raised a load of money for all different charities across the UK, in particular two big MND charities. And Lindsay ran it and did incredible, but it's, I was able to push Rob around in a specially designed chair. And it's the first time we've been able to do a big event together and we both absolutely loved it. And the marathon was put together in, under the banner of friendship and um, oh, it really love and care and look, looking after each other and it was a brilliant day. You can really see that friendship just shine through. And Lindsay, I'm so proud of you for running it as well. Well done. But what was it like having a marathon in your name, Rob? It was your name it was in, it, everyone was running it. What was that like? What did it feel like? The marathon was one of the most important and special events of my life. It meant so many things to so many people. But for me personally, the marathon was about friendship. Crossing the finishing line with my mate Kev was a moment that will live with me forever. The marathon provided a platform for raising awareness and funds for many different charities. I hope that the next one is as memorable. Oh, Lindsay, you're t the guy's talking about friendship quite a lot there. You know, uh, you've watched the friendship over the years. I'm sure it's irritated you at times. The two lads mucking about. Uh, how close are these fellas? Yeah, they're just, you know, an example of true friendship. I think, you know, Rob, um, Kev has been there from day one with Rob, and I think Rob would have found it quite tough without Kev's friendship. And, you know, he's stood shoulder to shoulder, and that friendship and that image of them crossing the line kind of really symbolises that friendship. Um, it's just an example of, of true friendship, and, and Kevin is such a role model, you know, to us all. Um, is, is so inspirational, and I think what he's done for Rob um, has just been incredible, really, and I think it just, it, it, you know, it, it leads us all by example. Describe your emotions, Lindsay, those images of the two lads crossing the line together. How did you feel at the time? Yeah, really emotional seeing that. It was such an iconic and special moment. And I think for me, it just symbolised the friendship and, and the true friendship. And, you know, as I said, Kevin has stood by, by Rob from day one. Quite early in Rob's diagnosis, he took Rob up to see um, the great late Doddy Weir. And, and that was a real turning point for us um, because Doddy gave Rob so much hope. And, and that's been sort of instilled in Rob in his battle and his fight in MND. So Kev is just, you know, is just an extra special person. I think, as Rob said, everybody needs a friend like Kevin. We're, you know, we're just so grateful for the, for the support and friendship that, that Rob's given. Um, Kevin. I can see that Rob is such a fighter. That smile comes through. When he smiles, you literally light up the screen. You really do. And I just love that about you. So Lindsay's in charge of the bit of tech there, which is brilliant, <laughs> because it allows Rob to have a good chance. I've challenge. always had a fighting spirit because growing up, I was smaller than everyone else and people doubted whether I was big enough to play a spot played by the biggest of men on the rugby pitch. I would never let anyone take advantage of me or back down to anyone. 
I knew I had lots of tough guys around me. There was method to my madness. Kevin, remind people who may not follow rugby league so much just how good a player Rob was back in the day. Yeah, he was, uh, he was a superman. Just had superpowers, so quick, so much agility. For those who watch rugby, you know, Jason Robinson-esque. Um, but he terrorised the big men. Like, although big men targeted Rob and tried to run over the top of him, he got underneath him, he put him on the back, and then he got his own back on, on more. And in big games he delivered, came up with big moments for us, and... Um, yeah, it was an incredible team we both played in. And I, I, I think it's unfair not to mention Lindsay running the marathon, like, raised it's just short of 100 grand. It's unbelievable. Like, and she did an amazing job. So when we asked her about that finish, um, she was very close behind and nearly beat us, so <laughs> she did a wonderful job. Really? <laughs> she actually... I think, Lindsay, did you actually have a knee injury as well? You actually ran a marathon with a knee injury? Yeah. <clears throat> I did, yeah. I'd, I'd been struggling with money a little bit. Um, but, yeah, do you know, it was just... It was about, you know, getting round the, the route, wasn't it? And just to kind of cross that finish line and, you know, a bit of knee pain wasn't going to stop me. And you look at what Rob and, and some members of the MND community go through and, and that was nothing, really. And, you know, I, I was quite a bit behind Kev. I think he's being quite <laughs> quite fair there. Um, but, yeah, it's it was a brilliant occasion and I'm just so proud to have done a little bit and just to help you know, in any way that I can. Kevin, just out of interest, that finishing moment, you had planned that, but it didn't go to plan, did it? It was quite, it was quite difficult, wasn't it? Yeah, so, because it was built on friendship, we, yeah. we wanted a nice moment to finish. And um, the plan was to get Rob out the chair and, and try and, I, I suppose, get some weight through his feet. And But I think we realised during the marathon, it taken its toll on yeah. all of us. It was a really hot day. We'd not everybody's trained in the cold and the wet and the wind, and suddenly you turn up on marathon day. <laughs> it was 18, 19 <laughs> degrees, so suddenly it changed. It changed and, everything. Um, uh, Rob got uncomfortable at times in the chair as well. It's the first time we'd gone that distance, and it, that meant we had to get him out the chair a fair bit. Um, I think we had 28 minutes of stoppages, so yeah, we, we had to change, but actually, I wouldn't have had it any other way. It was, it was a beautiful moment, certainly for me. I hope Rob feels the same. But, like, we've had some incredible moments on the field together where um, they, they've been really important in our friendship and the, and, and the team, but also some really tough moments. But to get to do that together was, was brilliant. That smile, Rob, says that it was a great moment for you too. For friends to do something like that together is really very, very special. Um, you mentioned the late, great Doddy Weir, sadly passed away not so long ago. Um, and during that campaign with Doddy, um, we realised how much funding was actually needed for research yeah. into MND. Very little funding out there. Very little really known about the disease. Yeah, yeah and, and that's been remarkable since Rob's diagnosis. The amount of people now that stop me and don't want to talk rugby anymore, which is brilliant, want to talk about MND, want to talk about Rob, want to talk about fundraising. And the impact he's had is that families now who've been ravaged for decades and decades, who've had things swept under the carpet, now will say such and such a body passed with MND and you've given the community hope and through the funds that have been raised and all the campaigning. And what Doddy started several years ago was uh, campaigning with government to try and release further funds and 50 million got released through Rob's hard work and Lindsay, through Stephen Darby, through Ed Slater now at Gloucester. Like, this band of brothers, if you like, from, from professional sport have, have really pushed and shifted the dial for a community that, do you know what, these are the toughest people you'll ever meet. Yeah. The people I meet who've got MND are so tough and are, I've got such humour and spirit about them as well. Resilience so, as well. Yeah, yeah, they're the best of us. Warriors. We've got to help them. They're warriors. Yeah, yeah all warriors. The, the amount you've raised as well is just incredible. Rob, you must be so thrilled with how much money you've raised and the support from everyone. It must be just incredible. I've been blown away by the amount of money that has been raised and the support that I have received since my diagnosis three years ago. There are so many kind people and I have a great deal of love for them. There is so much negativity in the world and it took me to get MND to see just how many wonderful people there are and how much people care. I'm a positive person who lives life to the full and this really helps me in my fight against MND. He's a warrior. Oh, really that's is. amazing. Uh, you all are. Amazing people, people who support you is just incredible. What's next then? What's next for you guys? Uh, what do well, you think, well, I do? think Rob's on the gauntlet down about doing it next year. <laughs> really? So it looks like we're, oh we're doing goodness. that. Um, 
I, I think we, we've done, our team have done three big challenges now and um, I think we're fully aware of, I think the term is compassion fatigue. Like through COVID, so many charities took a hit and we sort of, I will continue fundraising for MND for the rest of my life. I'm passionate about it, I'm in it. I love Rob This is bits. your life now. This is a big part of who I am now. Yeah. So <laughs> whether that is a bit more private and behind the scenes, but it will continue. So um, I'd love to think we'll go again. We obviously got World Cup in yes. back into this year, but I know I can turn myself around pretty quick to get ready to, to go again. I do have to ask you, because obviously Kevin's now part of England's Rugby World Cup coaching panel with Steve Borthwick. Heading off to camp fairly soon. World Cup in France starting in September. Can England win it? How can they go this year? We're really looking forward to it. Like Six Nations was a tough competition for us, a tough campaign, but um, we learned so many lessons. We have got a brilliant squad who are desperate to do well. And um, we've got some time throughout the summer where we can work extremely hard and give it our best shot. So that's your next challenge. Rob, the gauntlet you're throwing down for the guys. What is the next challenge you want them to take on board? Tell us all about it. I've officially retired from marathons, so it depends what Kevin has in his mind. I know he has an amazing team with him. It depends what is in his head, but I have the feeling it would be the hardest yet. I'm sorry to say that I won't be involved in it, and good luck to them. Good amazing. stuff, Rob. Amazing. Thank you so much. Lindsay, thank you so much as well. So good to see you both. Garden's you. looking fabulous, by the way. We've got to um, mention your book very quickly, yes. The Extra Mile. It's all about friendship by Kevin Sinfield. Thank you so this much. This is going to be a must-read, because I know this man, and he doesn't... He's very, very humble, but you're going to hear the stories in here, and I, I cannot wait, wait to read it. it. Thank it's you It's so, so good to see you. Great. It's great to be here. Good Thank, you. Camp, Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Prem final on Saturday, by the way, Twickenham. I hope you're going to be there. I'll be there. Yeah, tickets still available. I should say that. I'll be in trouble. <laughs> Thanks, Kev. Cheers. Uh, thank you so much, everyone.